Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to convert tables from a database into Microsoft Excel format and download them on the Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. In this Dashboard 2.0, I'm displaying database records in a table. By clicking a button, I can download an Excel file containing the records shown in Node-RED. Let's dive in. After installing Dashboard 2.0, the node we need to create an Excel file in Node-RED is called Node-RED Buffer XLSX. In the Manage Palette section, search for the node with the name Node-RED Buffer XLSX and install it by clicking on Install. To see detailed usage instructions for this node, please visit the Node-RED Flow page. On this page, we'll learn how to use this node in the correct JSON format for creating Excel files according to the data we want to display, including styling formatting. There are full example JSON format that we can try out as well. Let's create a simple flow to test the usage of this node using the provided example JSON. First, start with an inject node as the trigger, then add a template node. Paste the copied JSON into the template node, set the syntax highlight to JSON, and set the output to plain text. Next, connect it to the buffer XLSX node and then to the right file node. In the right file node, type the desired file storage location. After filling in the file location in the path column, including the file name, proceed to the action section and select overwrite file. For encoding, choose set by message encoding. Click done, and deploy the flow. Let's run the flow by clicking on the inject node, and then we'll check the file storage location to see if the Excel file has been created. Afterward, let's open the Excel file to confirm. We can see the Excel file containing a table with various formatting in each cell, as per the JSON example code we obtained. To understand the correct structure of the JSON file so that the Excel file can be created without any errors or corrupted files, let's add a debug node to the previous flow to examine the format of the JSON example file. This is the payload sent to the buffer XLSX node. We can see the correct JSON array structure for creating an Excel file. With a proper understanding, we can generate an Excel file from an array. For configuring the format or styling of each row or cell, please refer back to the Node Red Flow page. This is the flow code I used in this video. It's an improvement from my previous video on how to upload CSV files and records to a PostgreSQL database in Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. There are two pages. The first page is for uploading data from a CSV file and recording them into the database, and the second page is for viewing, editing, deleting, and inserting new data into the database. I created a download page for downloading Excel files using an HTTP and Node. When this page is accessed, it queries the database, specifically the username table. Then it creates an array of row data from the retrieved database data. The data obtained from the database is formatted according to the JSON format rules we've understood earlier, and I save it as the message. Row underscore data payload. Next, this row data payload will be combined into a single payload that we'll use in the buffer XLSX node to create an Excel file buffer. Next, the payload from the buffer XLSX node will be sent to the create file node to save the Excel file at a specified path. In this example, I'll save the Excel file in the temp folder. 
Then, it will be sent to the HTTP response node so that the Excel file can be downloaded. To create a button that will access the download page I've created, I use a template node. So, when this button is pressed, it will access the download page and automatically download the Excel file that has been created. Let's see how this application runs. First, on the CSV upload page, choose the separator. I'm using a semicolon because my CSV file separator is a semicolon. Then, select the CSV file to upload and record into the database. After clicking record to database, the data will be recorded into the database. Let's go to the view and edit data page and click show all data to view the data in the database. The data will be displayed in a table. Next, click download Excel to download the Excel file based on the data in the database. In the download notification, click keep and wait for the file to download. Next, open the file, and you'll see that the data in the Excel table matches the data in the database. Now, let's input new data. Fill in the data input form, then click Submit. After inserting the new data, click Show All Data to see if the data has been successfully inserted into the database. Then, click Download Excel to check if the new data has also been successfully created in the Excel file. We can observe that any changes made to the data in the database will also be reflected in the Excel file according to the database. Let's edit the data, for example, by deleting some entries, and see if the Excel file will also change accordingly. In this video, we've demonstrated how to efficiently manage data using Node-RED Dashboard 2.0. From uploading CSV files, recording them into a PostgreSQL database, to exporting data into Excel files, all can be accomplished with straightforward steps. With the application we've built, users can easily import, view, edit, and export data, providing flexibility and convenience in data management. By leveraging Node-RED and its provided tools, we can swiftly develop efficient solutions for our data management needs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video.